thank you everyone for coming here. But first, uh, my first question is to Anupam Sibal is, uh, why me? I don't have kids. <laughs> no, I know, but the thing is that I'm not a parent yet. But let me tell you that uh, Charan and I are very, very, we love kids a lot. That's number one. Number two is we are perfectionists and we want to be really careful before taking the step. So I want to read through everything and I thank Dr. Sibyl for, uh, you know, writing this book before we had kids. So now we can bring up our kids uh, really well. My inspiration is my sister-in-law, Sushmita, who's an amazing mom. I give it to her. She's like one of the best moms ever. And she's the best homemaker. And Charan, thank you for having such an amazing sister so then we can learn from her. And also my cousin, Sinduri. She heads the Polar Hospital operations in Chennai and the whole region. And she has a two-year-old kid. And she's able to do an amazing job with work-life balance you know, her home and the kid, and it's just amazing. So, you know, I use her as a benchmark when I have my children. But things are so different from the time, you know, I was a child and to now. Dad wouldn't allow, you know, boys to call us, or we didn't even have a cell phone till we were in, till we finished school, that's like till the 10th or 12th. And then after that, you know, I was exposed to America. So it was that bad. So anyways, it, it was a great experience also. But um, I was wondering, will my kids have the same experience as I did, or will it be different? Today, kids have um, kids younger than me. Even babies have social media accounts. You know, so that's the world is changing. I mean, uh, moms from the time they conceive to their bumps showing to everything is out there for everyone. So these kids are born stars before they even come and come onto this planet. It's amazing how the world is changing. So my dad's thing of not letting any boys talk to us or, this, or come call home and all that doesn't work anymore. So um, I guess there's a lot to read about, you know, how to bring up kids today. And uh, I really want to talk about children's health because I've seen a lot of kids today are chubby when they graduate and you know your weight your looks all that is becoming so important so um i feel that every parent should look into their kids health get them vaccinated get them um get them right get them in the body shape that's good for them because you know this world is not so nice anymore you know where we can accept everyone counsel them correctly tell them uh, what it is and um be truthful with your uh, with your kids you know, previously it used to be like uh, spare the uh, rod, spoil the child. That's it. Yeah. So now, if today, if anyone hits their kid, the kid will turn around and say, "I'll call the cops on you." It's that bad. But anyways, um, obviously none of us want to hit our kids or do anything like that. I think it's very nice for parents to become friends with their kids, and I'm I'm seeing it. I'm learning it. I'm you know trying to absorb as much as possible before we have kids and we do extensive reading and research and I know so many couples that have gone abroad to take classes even before they have kids and it's so important to be aware of what you're getting into there's someone else you're bringing into this planet there's someone else you're bringing into this world and you need to do justice and it needs to be the correct time and after they come in everything so I was with Deepak Chopra a few months ago and he was telling me that, you know, you can change the genetics of the child when the child is in your womb. And I was like, wow, if we can actually, if we have the power to do so much, it's just amazing. So anyways, thank you, Dr. Sibyl, and thank you all. I think you really need to concentrate on your kids. And one thing I learned from science is that from the age of one to five is when your child's brain cells develop the most. So spend the most time, I may be wrong, but this is the information that I got, but um, spend the most time with your children at that time. They develop lots of things. I'm trying to learn another language, and it's taking me so much time, but I know that if I had learned this language when I was six years old, I would have picked up five, six more languages. Thank you.